I would say, and Matthew, you can kind of correct me if I'm wrong, but men don't like you hanging out with everything, right? It's like having a little bit of mystery about you is a good thing. So for instance, if you had a dress that covered you up all the way to the neck and then you turn around and you have just a little bit of a dip in the back, like that is sexier. So, you know, don't feel like in order to be sexy to attract a man that you have to show a lot of skin or show your boobs hanging out or, you know, it really is about balance and subtlety. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're totally right on that. You know, and, and I, <laughs> I mean, this, this, this might sound a little strange, but, but, you know, men have, uh, a lot of men have kind of this almost like explorer kind of mindset going on, you know, in the background of, of, of everything that they do. And, and so, you know, a woman to, to a lot of men is this mystery, you know, and that's part of, that's part of what the whole excitement is. That's part of what uh, the, the, the whole kind of interaction, the whole courtship, that's, that's what a lot of it's about is, is just, you know, finding out what, what mystery is there and, and exploring and discovering and finding out more about you. And, and so I, I, yeah, I mean, I totally agree. And, and, you know, if you're, if you're showing up and you've just got, you know, like, things going on that that are just you know showing everything You're, you might be sending him the wrong message too you know if you're looking for something long term you know and you show up wearing you know a, a bikini you know and and it's you know you're at a restaurant he, he might you know think something a little bit different than what you're attempting to to put across and and the other thing that i wanted to mention just hit on real quick is is that whole idea of youthfulness that you're talking mm. about and you know i have literally seen i've done workshops and i've had women come into these workshops and they they looked you know just years older than they were and by the time they left you know they they we we'd gone through all these different like uh, these these different exercises and things to kind of break them through some of some of their blocks and some of the things that they had and their energy about them had become a lot more playful a lot more youthful and and the difference in the way that they look literally sometimes would shed like ten years off of just the, their presence the way that they 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 held themselves and and how they came across and and. Um, you know, having that is, is so powerful. You know, I've met women that were, that were much, much older than, than I thought they were, you know, just because of the way that they presented themselves. And, and, and one of the things that I like to tell women is that, you know, a lot of times it's not, you know, cause a lot of women are like, you know, guys just want the, you know, 18 year old bimbo, you know, and it's like, no guys want youthfulness. You know, they want a woman that, that, you know, doesn't think that she's a hundred years old, you know, that doesn't live like she's a hundred years old. You know, she wants that he wants someone who, who has life about her, you know, and is living her life and is, is in that state of enjoying, you know, everything that, that life is about. And that's, and that's youthfulness. That's what youthfulness, that's, uh, you know, if it, th there's a lot of quotes and different stuff about it, but, but that's, that's what youthfulness is. It's, it's, it's living, it's being alive, it's being playful, it's being, you know, all those different things. And that is extremely attractive to men. I love that. Yeah. I mean, it's an, it's an energy, right? And it's, um, you know, a lot of times, and I don't know, we can talk about this later, but when I teach women how to flirt, women get kind of clammed up you know, they hear, they hear the word flirting and they're like, Oh, you know, they get the knot in the stomach and you know, they think that they have to be Marilyn Monroe and twirl their hair and all that. Although that does work for some women, it doesn't work for everybody and it's not comfortable. But for me, it's what you just said. It's about being, um, playful. It's flirting with life really. And that is so attractive. And when women, you know, get kind of gun shy about that and like, oh, I can't, I can't be like that. I'm such and such age. But then I'll ask them, well, okay, so what kind of guy are you attracted to? Well, I don't want some old guy. It's like, okay, well, there you go. What you want in a guy, guys want in you as well. So again, it goes back to what we were saying in the beginning, like attracts like. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and just kind of going off that, you know, what you just said there is, is, you know, I've, I've, looked at a lot of different studies from uh, people that, that have been in marriages for just decades and, you know, they're, they're like these older couples and stuff. And, and when you see them interact with each other, it's all, you know, whenever somebody's stayed together for that long, it's, you, there's always something that's going on. And, and usually 
part of what that is is they're still like flirting with each other. You know, they still play with each other. They still tease each other, you know, and, and it's, and it's part of that, that, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, that stuff is still attractive. And, and it's, it's something that, that is a great thing to do no matter what stage you are in a relationship.